I don't know how many of you uh, remember or recognize the name Howard Hill. Now, Howard Hill was a good Alabama boy. He was an archer. They say he was the best in the whole world. He entered 287 archery tournaments. He placed first 287 times. He was so good, he retired early because the other archers were unwilling to compete for second place. I've seen newsreels of Howard Hill where from 50 feet away, he had split an arrow dead center in the, in the bullseye. Then he would take the next arrow and split the first one. He killed a Cape Buffalo with a bow and arrow, the most difficult game animal alive to bring down. He killed a Bengal tiger. He killed a 15-foot shark under 18 feet of water. Or was it an 18-foot shark under 15 feet of water? Well, it was a great big one in his way down there. I, uh, uh, you know, I do know that. He was a good one, there's no question. So, now let me emphasize the point. I've, I've never shot the bow and arrow professionally. But I'm an instructor extraordinary. I'm not certain, but I think that's French, which means I'm really good at it. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me tell you just how good I am as a teacher. If I could spend 30 minutes with any man or woman who will ever view this, providing your eyesight is good and your health is normal, at the end of 30 minutes, I would have you hitting the bullseye more consistently than Howard Hill could hit it on the best day he ever had. Sound like I'm bragging, but I'm not. I could do it. Provided, of course, you had first blindfolded Howard Hill <laughs> and turn him around a couple of times so he wouldn't have a clue as, uh, you know, just uh, wh 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 which way am I headed? And you might say, well, now, Ziegler, my goodness alive, fella, of course you could. That's ridiculous. How on earth could a person possibly hit a target he couldn't even see? It's a good question, but here's a better one. How can you hit a target you don't have?